walk among us. This is your chance to witness the head-turning talents of psychic medium Shirley Ghostman. Prepare to believe. Oh, Shirley, card man, part ghost. He can channel all the dead people you know. You're famous and dead, do you understand? Yeah. Shirley is your vessel, yeah, your spirit is friend. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. God bless. No, stop it. You're embarrassing me now. Bloody hell. Thank you. Thank you. Simmer down. Simmer down. Simmer down. Hello, my name's Shirley Ghostman, and welcome to High Spirits with Shirley Ghostman. Mortals and spirits, thank you very much for being here tonight, and I'd like you to join me now as we try and bring the three worlds just that little bit closer together. Okay. Tonight is very exciting for me, ladies and gentlemen, because it's my first ever time on television. <laughs> okay, actually, that's not true. There was that one time I stood on top of it to get the budgie off the curtain rail. <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. Now, I'm a very special medium because some of the spirits I contact are quite literally dead famous. The only other person who can contact as many dead celebrities as me is the guest booker on Des and Mel. <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about, don't you? As always, I'll be assisted by my psychic sidekick on the spirit side. Please put your paws together for none other than Shiva! <laughs> What's she thinking, eh? What's she thinking? Can you see a ghost, can you? Can you see a ghost? <laughs> OK. All right, where are we going, Sheba? Where are we going, sweetheart? Right, OK. I'm getting a man, and he's either really tall, OK, or he's stood on a chair, or a box of some sort. And they're, sh they're laying on me a reason for passing, which is here, because I feel it, because they lay it on me, and it's cardiovascular or aneurysm, OK? And I can... Or it might have been charged by a hippo, because it's a blow. It's that sort of impact you'd get. Can anybody understand that? Does anybody understand a tall man what was charged by a hippo? OK. All right. We'll put that to one side. Shirley Ghostman's mission in life is to share his gifts. And having a dog as a spirit guide means he can talk to all of God's creatures. Is she going to the litter tray? Is she going outside? Uh, she's still in the litter tray because I've not had her spaded yet. She wants to know why you're not doing it. I think what she'd really appreciate is if you could do it in the litter tray once just to show her how it's done. He's seen your danglers. Is he? Do you oh, ever wait. walk around without anything on? <laughs> no, no. Ever? No. Well, then he's on about pants. Yeah. Pants. Has he seen pants? Yeah, he's seen pants. I don't know if you can do it with an elastic band and a hanky or something, but he would love a pair of pants. All right. Do you understand Blame Hound? No. He's fed up with taking the stick when there's a stink, right? He's just saying, Someone will push air through poo and blame it on him. Right, OK. And he's fed up with it, cos it's just like, oh, yeah, the dog's done one, the dog's done one. Dog hasn't. You and your partner need to go to the toilet. OK, what he's saying is he's got a nickname for you, Slippy Fingers. He, he knows you don't mind, but sometimes when you pick him up, you just tend to rub his privates. OK? So just be a little bit wary when you are lifting him that you're not going up, OK? Is he having problems weeing? Yeah. Right, OK. He likes water sports. Likes water sports? Yeah. Right. Have you got a husband? Um, no, well, actually, it's my daughter's dog, but there is a husband there, yeah. Do they like water sports? Yeah, they go to the swimming pool regularly, yeah. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Do you understand? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I know, you, as a mum, you probably wouldn't know, but do you think they're that kind of open-minded, youthful, well, could be, I suppose, yeah. Right, you might want to just sit them down and say to them, knock off the water spots. OK. Yeah, OK, it's yeah. going to be a tough one, all right. Yeah. Oh, that, I don't like that. Sheba, are you sure about this? I'm getting a sock. 
Someone is putting a sock on her head and watching her bump into stuff and just laughing. Not in our house, love. Are you sure about this? Well, positive, unless my husband's been doing mean things whilst I've not been around. Well, I think but... you need to sit down with him and just say, let's get all this out in the open, all right? We need to move on from this. Just say, you know, any little games you're doing, OK, leave them. Right, OK. You've had his... Yeah. Yeah. He's saying he misses the taste of his salty balls. OK. OK. Have you got a partner? Yes. I don't know, some people see that as like a, ooh, don't even go there, but he might appreciate a little dick of his balls. OK. All right, OK. I'm wanting to be bought over here. I feel your pain, I feel your shame, but you're not to blame. You deserve that holiday. How are you supposed to know dogs couldn't feed themselves? OK. All right. Come on. This is Spirit Academy. Shirley Ghostman's search for the UK's next psychic superstar. It is the first round of national auditions, and thousands of hopefuls are competing for the opportunity to be tutored by the master himself. Day one, and there is already a wealth of psychic talent on display. I can predict certain things. I know something's actually going to be on uh, a news item on the TV, and I sort of think, ooh, I dreamt that last night. If the phone rings, I already know who it is. My great-grandfather was a witch back in Africa. I think that I'm possibly reincarnated. <laughs> Hello, just stand you? yourself on the star. Okay. Sabrina Fancy. Yes. It's a lovely name. Where would you get it from? I'm half English, half Pakistani. I think they're probably going to give me a series of tests, guessing what shape or circle or number that they're thinking about to test my abilities. Who's on your face? Brian. Close. Well, it's not that close. Not sure at all. I'm just going to give you a little clue. It's got a little puppy code in you. Right, OK, is it Jimi Hendrix? Elvis Presley? Frank Sinatra. Uh-huh. Paul? Bernie. I don't know who he is. You don't know who Rod Hull is? No, I don't. Oh, my God. Feeling really, really, really nervous. I mean, I don't know what's in store for me. Why don't you try looking at me, sweetheart? Oh, wrong way. OK. Not a good start. What do you think it's used for? A television show? It was an ornament in a house quite recently. Um... Just so you've got reaction, what's it used for? Somewhere important. Right, but what was it used for? It was used to advertise something. What was it used for? Making coffee. You're very close, OK, but it involves tea leaves. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking this is, this is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. OK, no, you're not. What are you thinking now? I'm thinking I'm hungry. <laughs> like, like, swimming. Getting swimming, am I? Is that what you're thinking about? Swimming? Mm, yeah, there's a bit of it, yeah. Okay, but... all right, fantastic. Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you thinking of? Just say what you're thinking of. The beach. Well, sort of, but close, but not actually the beach. What are you thinking of a donkey ride on a beach? Yeah, I was thinking you're of a through donkey... to the second round. Ah! Thank you. OK, go through. I knew it. I knew I was right. I knew it. I was thinking of being on this donkey. And he said to me, I know what you're thinking. Look at me and sleep. When I wake you up, OK, from your trance, you will know what is inside the box. All right? <laughs> Fantastic. And come back to us. OK. What's in the box? Um, I'll say train. Wooden train. Fantastic. I might just want to just try and unlock some of that um, psychic potential in you. Just get move to one side. Just lay down on me, on your back. What was it used for? I can feel something hot. What's it used for? Have a little touch of it mm. and a feel of it. My thumb's burning on it. I feel like doing that with it. Because I can definitely feel heat on my thumb. Yeah, I'm feeling very hot too. 
it's used for drying people when they come out of the, the shower. You're through to the second round. I'm just going to try and open up your chakra. OK. Can we bring on the big um, wardrobe? I'm going to leave the room, OK? Close your eyes, count to ten, and tell me what's inside the wardrobe. One, two... Three, four... Five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... You need to count to ten. All right, OK. I think Shirley's in the wardrobe. Open your eyes! <laughs> How did you know that? You're through to the second round. Thank you. You're through to the second round. Oh, I am! You're going through to the next round. Okay. You're through to the next round. Oh, thank you. All right. Next week, the remaining contestants channel the spirits of dead celebrities. Bob, is that you? Hey, it's me! The actor what played Tosh from the bill, are you there? Oh, um, yeah, all right. All right. Just look at me, darling. You're going through to Spirit Academy. Are you psychic? Oh, look, it's Richard Wilson. And he's going shopping. <gasps> oh, my God. Unbelievable. He's not going to believe this. What do you think his reaction will be? Concentrate. Oh, dear. I really don't think he's going to believe this. OK, use all your psychic powers. What's he going to say? I don't believe it. Well, are you psychic? Right, I've got a young woman, all right. Is it you, sweetheart? OK. What they're showing me, all right, is a door. OK, would you understand a door? Because they're showing me there's, um a little box what letters go through. Yes? OK, and when you're inside, OK, you can hear other people outside, all right? Some sort of knocking device or ringing device on the door. Right, now they're letting me in there and I'm going into some sort of chamber area with other doors coming off of that. Would you understand that? OK. And have you got fire? No. OK, radiator? Yes, OK. All right. Is there a picture on the wall? OK, a photograph, I'm thinking. Mm. Right, OK. Who's the ugly one? I'm seeing a picture of an ugly little piss holes in the snow and a piggy sort of face. It could be me with my husband. Has he got little eyes? OK. All I would say is beauty is in the eye of the beholder. OK. God bless. Love and light. Would you understand? God bless. OK. Come on. High Spirits presents The Paranormalists. Ian Jackson is Shirley's special apprentice. He's on a mission to uncover the mysteries of the dark arts. Hi, Ian. Hello, Sandra. I'm Ian Jackson, and I'm here to find out about it. Um... <laughs> it's so, a bit it's a little bit. <laughs> ah, so difficult. So, Sandra, tell me a little bit about what, what, what you do. Um, rumpology basically is focusing on the bottom. So you read people's futures by looking in their bums? Yes. Why is it not called bumology? It's because it's basically it's, um, um, an old, it goes way back apparently. Can I ask you another question, please? Mm hmm that done a funny. <laughs> can I ask, can I ask you, ask you another question? Right, do you go see on it? Do you go get on. it? I do get it, but go on. My teacher, Mr. Um, Jarvie, he done run polish on me and he pulled down my pants and then he predicted, he said, if you tell anyone about this, Ian, then um, there'll be big trouble for you. Right. But I actually told my nan and it turned out that, that he was in big trouble with uh, Inspector Jarrett. Right, OK. Well, that's Can we have a look at someone's there. bum? OK. <laughs> right, I don't want to see that, which that'll do. OK. Now, with Vera, 
Um, on the right side, going here, she's got a lot of um, sorting out to Baggy, do with her um, a, a life at the moment. And we're looking at this here, this sort of superficial line there. I can see it. To do with... There, that there. That's right. To do with um, spirits, your family. Have you just moved house or are you just not settled where you are at the moment? No, I've not moved house. Right, OK. No any plans to... Couldn't pull a rabbit out of a hat, but I could pull a hair out of a bum. Behave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not. Uh, stop it. Look, this bitch well, is watch me. around your lifetime where Thunder. you are actually. You've. Um, it's okay. This bitch just gone in. Look. Look. It's okay. Thank you. So, Ian, take it away. See what you pick up. Um, I can see. A planet, Uranus. I think that you are going to go to the post office. There's a big queue, and then you hear cashier number seven, please. But it's a lady's voice saying cashier number seven, but there's a man at the till, and then the queue goes down to 14. Cashier number six, please. Again, it's the lady's voice on the thing, but a man's voice, but a man in the booth, and then it goes down to eight, and then someone else goes to another cashier before the thing goes. And then cashier number three, please. And then the queue goes down a little bit more, and you're still looking around the post office at the, all the forms and thinking about the fact you're going to be drawing some money out. Then there's three people in front of you, and then the cashier number nine, please. And he go, then they go to cashier number nine, but they're together. You then, it says cashier number eight, please. And you go to the cashier number eight with the, to get the money from your post office account. I never draw any money out at the post office. Well, that's what it is. Do that. I only go to the post office to buy stamps. Um, and that's all. And post letters. Yeah. I just wanted to say thanks very much for learning me about, um, bombology. OK. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. High spirits. Yeah. OK. You like a drink, don't you, sir? Yes, OK. What you're not going to like, OK, is waking up on the bathroom floor with a black eye and shit in your pants, OK? Don't shoot the messenger, all right? That's what they're saying to me. Would you understand? OK, God bless. This is the other side of Shirley Ghostman. A rare insight into the private world of the celebrity psychic medium. Mr. Ghostman? Yes. Is that right? OK. Yes. Hello. Hello. I've got an appointment. Shirley? Yes. Have a seat. OK. So, sir, are you getting married? No, you need the not suit at for? all. It's for... Um, I'm doing a tele show. Oh, great. And, um, I just want it to look, you know, fantastic. Cos when I was nine, I lost my dad. Yeah. I ran into the garage, but um, he couldn't hear me because the window of the car was only open a little bit for the hose pipe. And what with the engine running, he just couldn't hear a word I was saying. I was screaming and battering on that window. Dad, listen to me. Anyway, I lost him and I was trying to contact him through spirit. And Sheba, his dog, Alsatian, was on the bed and looking at me as if to say, send me, Shirley. Uh, this is Nino, my brother. Hello. Hello Hello, we could do a flared cough. That would look nice. Fed cuff? Yeah. OK. He's ever so nice, isn't he, your brother? He's getting married soon. Good vibes about him? Not really, no. I've got a lot of negativity there associated with him. She looked at me again as if to say, I can contact him, all right, but you need mm -hmm. to release me of this earthly form. Right. And I don't know if you've ever had to kill a dog before. No. <laughs> it's not as easy as you might think. Seriously, it's bloody difficult. So you get married, Nino? Um, hopefully within the year. How long have you um, been? Um, it'll be two years on Valentine's Day. Uh, 
So I did it in the most humane way I could think of, right. okay? I wrapped clean film around her muzzle, mm -hmm. and then I pushed all the pieces of buckaroo up a tiny bottom. Right. I think it was the mule that done it. I don't know if it's tasted it to him or not. She's not right for him. Really? They're yeah. totally and utterly in love. I know. I mean, she left her it's career, her months, life in Italy. Valentine's Day. Two years, sorry, isn't it? Oh, my God. Yeah. Two years. Oh, my God. And... Uh, it's incredible, this one. Lui. I don't think she's right for him. She know. keeps saying I that. She's a bit I psychic, I think. I oh, thank you very much. It's all right, sweetheart, but we need to get rid of her. No, he's a lovely bloke. She says to me... When she went, I could hear her singing, this sort of like... <laughs> ...song. Mm -hmm. I turned up the cassette player just to sort of drown it out, and I've never been able to listen to Banana Rama since. Oh. You know that Robert De Niro's waiting? No. Talking Italian. You see, I'm not I, gay, I can't. All right. You know. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> OK, not. good luck. OK. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to need to do your best. It's a big responsibility, though. It is, yeah. OK. God <laughs> bless. See you soon. <laughs> Ciao. My God. Sorry? What's that? No, nothing. You just said a few things that quite shocked me, actually. Ghost Man. Mediums use a technique called trans-channeling, allowing them to put their body under the influence of a spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like Shushi, as I am about to channel spirit. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lady Di. Amazing, tremendous, magnificent Lady Di. What died? I'm coming to you from the Neverworlds, what I rule with my dear husband, Dodi Fayette. Hello. I've been summoned here by the great Shirley Ghostman for a new exclusive telly show, what he was telling me about in the bath. I've been desperate to come through to thank you all for the lovely funeral what you done on me. Although I must say, the journey to Westminster Abbey was a little bit slow. I felt like telling the coachman to put a move on, but then I realised that's how I got into this bloody mess to begin with. When Charlie bent over the coffin to pay his last respects, I could smell the ripe stench of Camilla's undercarriage on his breath. Cheeky bloody Charlie, you've got to love him. Can't keep it in his flipping trousers. He must feel like he's in a blooming Godfather movie, waking up every morning with a horse's head on the pillow next to him. Maha! <laughs> Before I go, it's payback time for Queenie, what stitched me up. I've got a few secrets about that wrinkly monkey that haven't been flogged by Paul Burrell yet. I accidentally barged in on her in the bathroom one day and caught her in the act, sucking her own tits. One of them was a lot longer than the other one. It sat draped across her chest like a deflated balloon. Nay, matter. She'll get what's coming to her for doing what she'd done to me. One last thing before I fade. Remember, despite what the press say, Shirley is not a gay lord, just a tad camp. Keep believing, and maybe one day I'll be back. Goodbye. 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 High spirits. Hey, 
day is for afterlife. The afterlife is the land where the dead spirits dwell in peace and harmony. Everyone there speaks the same language, English. The ancient Greeks called their afterlife the Elysian Fields. It remains a popular holiday destination for spirits as the weather there is generally excellent. Sadly, in recent years, some British spirits have been accused of troublemaking by the Greek spirit authorities. People who are naughty in life go to hell, which is a bit like Borth in Wales. A heinous crime like murder guarantees you a place in hell, but it is worth noting that repeatedly committing a lesser crime, such as kicking a policeman up the bum, will as well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me tonight. And please, try and keep your minds open, all right? Not you, sir. Otherwise, we'll have the vice squad down here in a flash. <laughs> He knows what I'm talking about. OK, I'm going to leave you this evening with a new song from legendary Sir Roy Orbison, who channeled it through me last week. I'd like to say without prejudice that all of Mr Orbison's new works are producing good faith and any similarity between this and previous work owned by the Roy Orbison estate is entirely coincidental to help me God. I give you lovely lady. And remember, if you don't believe, you'll die a long, lonely and painful death. Speak to you later. Oh, my house band. I got Jimmy, Diana, Hitler, and Gandhi on drums. Let's rock and roll. Lovely lady, running up the road. Lovely lady, her shoes are open toe. Lovely lady, I don't believe you. They're not your shoes. Don't make me fight to you, you lonely. I think he's very accurate. Very good. Very good. I think Shirley's very good. Oh, he's a very interesting guy. Um, it's an interesting mixture of flamboyance and uh, sort of sensitivity.